I'm pretty sure that the sort of the, 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 the most common theme that pop up as we discuss with people that consider engaging in this uh, program is really uncertainties related to what is a PhD and what is an executive doctorate. I think uh, this distinction is not clear uh, for very many people. And with good reason, because we have had a long, long tradition in our society of giving doctorate uh, degrees in the form of PhDs. And I think people have, uh, in businesses, have a rather good understanding of what this means. And also when they were students uh, going through master's degrees, they got a sense of what this was. Maybe they knew PhD students at that time, or maybe they have PhD uh, students or candidates in their family. But this other, uh, thing, this executive doctorate is sort of a new thing. And I think there's uh, always a lot of questions related to what is really the difference and what should I do now that I invest so much time? Why should I take this one and not that one? I think that is probably the most recurring theme in what we have to deal with when, when we talk to people. In our case, we give a very clear answer. We try to give a very clear answer that a PhD is full-time. Uh, this is part-time. A PhD is disciplinary. This is interdisciplinary. A PhD is for people that want to become professors at tier one universities in this world. This is for people who want to improve their professional career as executives. So roughly those few pointers that I just summarized here are the one that, that, that make the distinction. And we try to communicate as clearly as possible that we are not trying to do something similar to a PhD. We are in fact trying to do something different from a PhD that is also a terminal degree.